It is June 1st, 2015, and I'm going to give you an update about my garden and the okra that is growing in it. So the first bed that I have okra in um, is right here. I'm growing a red velvet type, I think that's what it's called. Um, and I started that pretty late, like into April, I believe. And then just a regular um, Clemson spineless. And I have one, two, three, and then I have this one tiny little guy right here that I'm hoping will make a, make a move. If not, I might um, clear that space out and use that cage for something else. Um, because as you'll see, I think I have plenty of okra and could spare that cage. So I have one more right here. And this is actually an heirloom seed from a good friend of mine over at Bramble Buzz Acres. And so is the red velvet uh, one with the red stem. And now we're moving on. The next bed I have okra in is back here in the back of the garden. And these, all four of these, are that red velvet kind. Oh my gosh. Oh wow. I haven't seen a bloom from one of these yet. Oh wow. Ha uh ha. -huh. Oh, this is so exciting. <laughs> okay. I've got to finish the video because or else I would stop and go and take a million pictures of that bloom. Um, so these are doing really good and I cannot wait to see one of those okras um, because I've never eaten one let alone I've never even seen one. And those are also seeds from um, my friend Tiffany at Bramble Buzz Acres. Now, this is the next bed I have okra in. I put these in last. Um, they were actually some I had started just as kind of insurance plants. And they're doing the best, um, actually, as far as for when I planted them compared to, you know, what they're like now. Um, and I think that it's... Well, they had more time to get started in their containers, and I also had more time to work this um, dirt in. Um, so I put them along this diagonal line, and I put some sunflowers between them. And as they grow, they will be able to give this little patch of lettuces that I have... Um, a nice amount of shelter and shade. And now we're moving on to the bed that has the ladder with the cucumbers. Um, I put some okra in up in the corner and as long as I keep it really, really watered, I think this spot is going to do really good because it's just blast and sun um, in the morning. Um, oh yeah, look at there. Oh wow, I haven't gotten an okra off this one yet. Which brings me to my next point. As you can see, I have those holes in the leaves and it drives me crazy. And I know that's normal. Um, but... Uh, Why can't they all just be butterflies and bees? So I have the okra up here. And